Hi everyone, this is Melissa Lord. I'm from V Technologies. I do the sales for ship gear for the smaller accounting packages like um, QuickBooks and Peachtree. We also do work with eBay, which is, um, if you're familiar with, is an online store that people can auction and bid for items on. So today our focus is going to be ship gear for QuickBooks. So I just want to take you through a few slides some general background information, and then we're going to go into a demo of the product. So what is ShipGear? What ShipGear is, uh, is an information bridge between QuickBooks and UPS WorldShip. This runs in the background, and it allows you to gain uh, efficiencies in your shipping department, your accounts receivable, and customer service. You can prevent invoicing delays with accurate shipping charges updated to the customer invoices. And ShipGear can automatically send shipment notifications alerting the customer with their tracking information to let them know their package is on the way. A lot of times we get questions from QuickBooks users or QuickBooks resellers on why they may look at ShipGear over the shipping manager, the widget that's inside QuickBooks. So we have a few different functionality pieces that are different than QuickBooks Shipping Manager. You'll see here there's a list, and I'll go into those in further detail on the next slide. But you'll see there's some write-back features, personalized interfaces, address validation. So write-back. What the write-back is with ShipGear is the information that goes back into the invoice, the sales order, or the sales receipt. The customer that's shipping does not have to actually paste the tracking information once they receive it. They'll be able to get the shipment date in there, the total weight, service, number of packages, and they also get the shipment cost, which can be customized and be flexible with your current freight rules. The nice thing with ShipGear is the personalized interface. You're not stuck with what the developers decided would be best for shippers. You're allowed to customize the fields that are coming over and the translations that go into WorldShip. You can also use your custom fields that you've defined in QuickBooks. You can further automate shipping information and label printing with these custom fields. And you could also uh, use your freight rules and email notifications using these fields. You have the ability to pull from more than just invoices or orders. You can get into sales receipts, sales orders, and invoices quickly. You're not stuck with just one of those, or you don't have to be actually inside QuickBooks to grab the shipping information. I think address validation is pretty important. That way you know you're getting it to the right spot. When you pull it into WorldShip, you're allowed to get all the way down to the street level, whereas the shipping manager only gets you to the city state zip. So the zip plus four is the street level address information. So WorldShip has the ability to scan that address info and make sure it's going to the right spot. Another feature of ShipGear is the ability to go international. Any international destinations that UPS allows a delivery to, you'll be able to send your package to. When you pull that in again, you're able to see if the service is available based on their address. So if it's a, a country that you're not allowed to ship to, it won't let you, but you do have the ability to send packages and documents to other countries other than the United States. So that's just some background information. Uh, I think if you have any questions, I'll go into the demo and you may see some of those answered. So let me jump into that. Some of you may be familiar with this screen here. This is UPS WorldShip. It's a free shipping software that UPS will give out to customers that have a daily pickup with them. So they'll send you a disk, you install it, and this is free of charge. And by using ShipGear, you link WorldShip and QuickBooks. So if you have WorldShip already, you're not learning a new software. You have access to any features that UPS gives you, including the international shipping, any service types. You all have the ability to continue to get these with the ShipGear shipping software. So the best way to show you how it works is to actually process a shipment. The way ShipGear grabs information is through an import-export with UPS called the Keyed Import. So you would go into this menu item here to the Keyed Import and click on the SG2 Import. I've also created a shortcut on the toolbar here to quickly access that. So right now we will pull in an invoice. Shipgear also supports 
sales orders and receipts if you have a need to pull from those. So right now we're connected to invoices, so I'm going to type in invoice number 115. I'll then hit the enter key, and you'll see that some information has populated into UPS. You'll see here that the company name, the attention, and the address information come in. This is the ship to address. Notice it's not the bill to because they can be separate. So ShipGear automatically pulls from your ship to address information. The service has also been selected automatically. The ship via in uh, QuickBooks will tell UPS which service type it is. So on this invoice, it was indicated that the customer wanted their package to be second day air. ShipGear also fills out a few other fields, including Quantum View Notify. What Quantum View Notify is, is also an email service by UPS that will send out tracking information to customers. So they'll get an email with the um, tracking number. It'll tell them the company that it came from. We could put in a memo that says, thank you for your purchase. Here's your tracking information. That way, they aren't calling you or emailing any of your customer service reps looking for that tracking information. So that's one last call or inquiry that you have to handle. There's also declared value that's been put on this. This is the invoice value, $300. This will ensure that the package has insurance on it in case of loss or any damages. So that's also automatically flagged for you. The reference fields are also of use. This has the PO, and you'll see here again the invoice number. So this helps them further automate their Quantum View Notify tracking. They can check this uh, particular invoice number, or if they were tracking on the PO number, they can also track on that. So basically, all we have left to do is put the weight in. If you did have an electronic scale attached to WorldShip, once you place the package on the scale, it automatically will read the weight. I don't have that installed right now, so I will add the package weight in manually. So we'll put one package weight at 2 pounds, and we'll add another for 3 pounds. You'll see here that the shipment cost has come to 27.05. So I'm going to process the shipment. You'll see that the labels print out. And then that truck is indicating that we're updating the invoice with some tracking information. So I'm going to go open up that invoice for you. So here's invoice 115. You'll see that the item code is designated to shipping. The ship down date has gone in. The shipment weight the number of packages, the service type, and you'll see both tracking numbers have gone into the invoice. And you'll see here that the shipping charges of 2705 has also updated to this invoice, and then your balance due is now 32705. Let me just save that, and I can show you one more transaction with UPS. We have another way that you could import. We have a browse feature, so if you can't recall the particular invoice number, you can use this browse feature to pull up a list. So you'll put in a question mark, hit the Enter key, we'll select the date range that we think it's from, and I will put in invoice 116. You'll see here again that the address information has come in, the company name, service type is selected to ground, and here we also have pulled in the transportation differently. It looks like this customer has designated that they want to use their UPS account number to be billed the shipping charges. So you'll also see here that the UPS account number has filled in. Same thing with Quantum View. Declared value is also in here. So what I'm going to do is ship that package. So the write back is now occurring. I'll quickly pop in that invoice and see how it did. Again, the shipping has been uh, designated the item code, the description has come in, and you'll also notice that since they use their UPS account number, ShiftGear has written back a value of zero. That way they're not getting double charged since we've already charged that onto their UPS account. Another thing to notice is that the bill to and the ship to are different. You'll see that this Water Street address had come into UPS WorldShip. 
so ship gear automatically knows to check to that shipping address because that can differ from the billing. Let me just go quickly back into our slides. Oops. Current slide here. We have a few different options if you wanted to enhance your shipping further. You saw the Quantum View Notify. That's a nice service available from UPS. Sends out the tracking number to the email address that you have on file with the customer record. But if you wanted to go further and customize your own emails, we offer the e-notify piece. You get to create custom emails with your logo, company information, contact info, and you could also include fields from UPS or QuickBooks. You also saw how the freight charges got updated to QuickBooks. Right now you saw that the actual amount went back, so the 2705 that updated back to the invoice. If you wanted to build in handling fees based on their order, so they had a second day air order, you can use freight rules to say add on a $20 handling fee for any second day air purchases. So you can build in several rules into uh, ship gear to update QuickBooks with different shipping charges based on the rules that you define. And then um, just the last uh, add-on that we have is called front office. It's uh, similar to a dashboard view. You get uh, access to your shipment history. So someone that may not have the QuickBooks software or the UPS World Ship software that may be handling any inbound inquiries about shipping charges or tracking information, they can use this front office tool to search by the customer name or their invoice to see the tracking history.